State agriculture officials could soon have more resources to help regulate the hemp industry. Some Wisconsin hemp farmers worry that officials haven't tested their crops on time, making it difficult to sell their products. The longer it grows, the higher the THC levels. Capitol Bureau Chief Emily Fannin has you covered on how a new bill could help the problem and what else it would do to help hemp farmers. Wisconsin farmers growing hemp hit a holdup in the harvesting process. We told you last month Wisconsin's Department of Agriculture, Trade and Consumer Protection has to test the hemp before it's harvested. But some farmers are concerned the testing is taking too long and the longer the hemp grows, the higher the THC levels. New legislation being considered right now would allow DATCAP to hire additional companies to test hemp. Right now, there's only one facility in Madison that does that. Governor Evers tells 27 News he hears from farmers about their concerns and supports this bipartisan bill. There's lots of interest in hemp and we have limited staff members. People make appointments to go out to the farm and it's not a good day because of the farmers are you know, obviously doing lots of other things. The bill is sponsored by Senator Patrick Teston, who told us these changes would comply with federal law and will allow farmers and processors to operate more smoothly. We have a lot of people interested in doing it and we have a limited number of people to do the testing. The proposal would also allow farmers to take their crops to a processor to lower the THC levels instead of destroying their fields. DACAP said this legislation would provide tools and resources for farmers next growing season to help them be successful. We're doing the best job we can. We're hopeful that the, the new bill will provide better parameters around that so that we can move forward. While this bill gives DACAP more resources, it's up to the department to decide whether they'll actually use them. The bill already passed the Senate and could be up for a vote next week in the Assembly when lawmakers return. Governor Evers said if it reaches his desk, he'll sign it.